Uh, kind of close here with my week 14 predictions. It's going to be a very quick one. Um, kind of lose my voice and a sore throat. So it's going to be a fairly quick one. I'm going to do a little quick. I'm going to tell you why I picked the team pretty much. So it's going to be a very quick video. Last week it was 7-9. and nine, Terrible week. Um, and this week I want to know already because I picked them for over Oakland. So the first game, 93 Ravens, 6, six Redskins. I am going to take the Redskins. Redskins don't turn the ball over. Ravens are probably going to be out with Terrell Suggs this week. He might play through Torn Pice up, um, but he's going to not be that effective. Um, so I'm going to go with Redskins. Uh, just because they don't turn the ball over and their defense is getting a little bit better. Next, the 6-6 Cowboys versus the 7-5 Bengals. Um, we'll do it with the Cowboys in this game. Playing for playoff spots. They're fighting for um, their jobs, pretty much. And they can easily make the division right now if they win out. Which is a strong possibility if they stay consistent. And I think they win this game because of the fact that their job's on the line and the playoffs. Next, the 5-6-1 and one Rams versus the 5-7 Bills. I think the Bills win this game. Playing next, the 3-9 Eagles versus the 6-6 Buccaneers. Choose the Buccaneers in this game because merely they are the better team. And... The Eagles suck. Um, next game, 11-1 11, 11 Falcons versus 3-9 Panthers. I'm going to go with the Falcons in this game. It's going to be a very close game, but I think they win because they, they'll they slow down Cam Newton a little bit. But I would not be surprised if the Panthers win. Um, but I think I believe the Falcons win this game. Um, next is the... Two and ten Brown, two and ten Chiefs, the four and eight Browns. Uh, I'm gonna go with the Browns in this game. Chiefs won an emotional game last week. Uh, they played very well. I'm glad I got that pick wrong. I should have picked the, the uh, do that. Uh, one of their players committed suicide. I think I actually made the prediction before that. So uh, they do. There's a little kid that is without family. So I don't know what the website is, but you should maybe if they have charity or something. I don't know. I don't know the link. But I'm going to go with the Browns in this game. Just mainly because they're improving every week. And I can see them winning the rest of their games. Um, next, the 4-8 Chargers versus the 7-5 Steelers. Big Ben will be playing. Um, Chargers, pretty much the, their GM and head coach are fired, getting fired. Players might start playing for jobs. Um, I'm going to say the Chargers win this game. Because Mike Taylor's out for the Steelers, Big Ben's coming back, and I think they'll try to they'll try to run the ball a little bit more. And I think the Chargers might just want to get one more win for Norv, and why not do it against the Steelers away? Uh, next game, the four and eight Titans versus eight and four Colts. Um, I'm gonna go with the Colts in this game. I think they just have the better quarterback. Uh, Titans have the better running back, obviously, but I think. The Colts are going to win because they really want this playoff spot. And if they pretty much win this game, it pretty much clinches in a playoff spot. Um, so, well, not really, but it makes it really easy because that ninth, that ninth win means a lot and it could knock some teams out. Um, next, the 5-7 and seven Jets versus the 2-10 and ten Jets. Um, I think the Jaguars to win because they're starting Mark Sanchez over Greg McElroy. Greg McElroy won the game last week. I don't know why they didn't start him. Rex Ryan's an idiot. So I'm going to go with the Jaguars in this game at home. Um, next, the 8-4 Bears versus the 6-6 Vikings. Um, I'm going to go with the Bears on this game. Um, I think... Actually, you know what? I'm going to go with the Vikings in this game, actually. I think AP is improving every week. Um, they're without Tim Jennings, the Bears. Charles Tillman's banged up. Their run defense has been awful lately. I think they'll prove it this week, but it's going to be hard against the AP. So I think the Vikings win this game and further push them into the playoff race. Next game is the 5 7 Dolphins versus the 8 3 1 49ers. I think the 49ers win this game. The Dolphins are taking a tumble. Um, Tannehill versus. San Francisco defense is not going to be very fun for him. 
Next is the four and eight Cardinals versus the seven and five Seahawks. Um, Brandon Brown Cardinals. So their defense really is. Um, it's just going to destroy that offense of the Cardinals. Next, the five and seven Saints versus seven and five Giants. Saints, um, big possibly still can make the playoffs. They just need to win out. Um, I don't know. It, the Seahawks, they're in a good position because the Seahawks, like I said, lost Brent and Browner, and they might lose Richard Sherman. Um, so, you know, Seahawks have to lose. Have to, if the Seahawks win three more games, it, it takes the Saints out. But um, I'm going to go with the Saints in this game. I just, Eli is just overthrowing his receivers. And I don't, I just, I don't think they could just run the ball all game. Um, so I'm gonna say the Saints with this win. Uh, just gonna be a fact. Eli is struggling still. Um, next, the Sunday night game, 44 and eight Lions against the 84 Packers. Lions out of the playoffs, pretty much. Um, they're just they're still gonna play. Obviously, I would think that they they still think they could make the playoffs, and they could still make the division, which is. Impossible if the Packers win here. The Packers aren't going to lose out, um, but I think their playoff hopes, their division hopes, come out and lose. I think the Packers win. I think they're going to have to pass all game, which will lead them to think, "Hey, we got Aaron Rodgers. Let's pass once to try to run the ball with Alex Green and the pathetic running backs they have." Um, and then my game of the week: the Houston Texans versus the New England Patriots. Monday night, I'm going with the Patriots because Tom Brady, the Texans are an overrated team. Um, Patriots are very good against the run. Their secondary is improving. Um, all you have to do with the Texans is stop the run and you win. Um, Aaron Hernandez is going to destroy that secondary. Um, they have no linebackers to cover Aaron Hernandez. They can't put a corner on there because the corners are all injured. Wes Walker with the same thing. They are going to mismatch the Texans, and the Texans are going to lose. I don't see a chance in the Texans winning. I don't know why the people keep picking the Texans when they look at Aaron Hernandez and Walker. They are the key to this game. Um, they have nobody to cover. Daniel Madden maybe, but you really don't want to leave the deep ball open with Brandon Lloyd or Dante Stallworth or even Aaron Hernandez. So... I'm going with the Patriots because they just have all the mismatches against. They match up really good against the Texans. Um, so that is it for my Week 14 prediction. Just a fast one. Did not feel good today. So 8-minute one instead of fucking 17-minute one. Fantasy playoffs start this week. So I'm fighting for my fantasy football life this week. Um, I hope all of you have buys. And hope you, if you don't, then I hope you win, I guess. Except for you, Virus. All right, I'm watching this, though. Um, so, yeah, good luck in your fantasy playoffs. And um, that is pretty much it. All my links are below. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you. I don't know when the next video is coming out, seeing that The Walking Dead is um, mid-season finale. So, you won't see a video tomorrow night. Uh, might see another FIFA video, but uh, videos might be a little bit lame. Up until not lame, lame, but lacking up to probably Christmas time because if once I get my PC, everything will start rolling. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll try to get out maybe a FIFA video this week, um, and maybe a I don't know, maybe a 2K video. It just depends on how if I don't if I actually get some good footage. So like I said, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.